What's up, everybody? Welcome to Comic Book Club. I'm Alex. I'm Justin. I'm Pete. And we are coming to you once again from Midtown Comics. You can check them out it's online at midtowncomics.com. Yeah. And we're going to be doing some of your audience questions. It's great. You can send them into twitter.com. Thanks for doing that. Twitter.com. So, what is that? Uh, it's, it's a fun site to hang out and chat with your friends. Yeah. So let's get right into it. Saloria asks, uh, can each of you explain one thing you like to see in comic shops and one thing you don't? Retailers pay attention. Well, I like it if they're called Midtown Comics. Comics. Nice. All right. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. That's, that's good. That's a really good answer. A bit, Great. A bit with your nose up the butthole. <laughs> uh, that's, uh, that's where I'm comfortable. Say, yeah. I can say the one thing I like about uh, comics, a must have for me for comic book shops, is a new release section that is separate from everything else, that is yeah. very clear that these are the new releases. You don't accidentally buy reprints. You don't. Uh, you know, accidentally buy uh, something else that looks similar. It's just very clear. These are the new ones, and it's separate from everything else. I like a good staff pick section uh, yeah. where they can they'll bring, even especially when they bring up graphic novels and trades that I maybe don't know about. Even I consider myself uh, an aficionado, and I don't know about all this stuff. So I want to hear uh, what people who are in a comic store all day, every day, reading comics. What they're That's cool. Plus. And uh, totally seriously, I actually the two things more than anything else is clean and friendly staff. Yeah, really clean staff. <laughs> clean staff. Uh, friendly floors. Yeah, There's nice. nothing worse right. than when you come up and you have a question or want to buy something and someone's rude to you. Or someone has taken a shit on the floor. <laughs> Which happens. Okay. Uh, Alright, <laughs> great. Uh, don't say that. Uh, we're going to move on. Anne is Not Dead asks, leaving aside all the Obama fever, what are the best uses of real people in comic stories? Uh, interesting. Um, Jay Leno, probably. Spider-Man. Uh, back in the day. <laughs> yeah. Um, Muhammad Ali Super Bowl versus... Shuffle comics or something like that? Yeah. Super Pro? Is that what you think? Super yeah, I think Semi-pro. Semi-pro. Uh, uh, no, Super Pro. No, Semi-pro is a movie. Movies. Yeah, no, I think uh, Muhammad Ali and uh, versus Spider-Man was great. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's all right, it's all right. It's cool. Um, I just love uh, Hillary Clinton just being on the cover of her own cover. All right. Uh, <laughs> great appearance. Wait, wait, hang on. Let's... I mean, no, Stephen no, no. Colbert? Yeah, I don't know. Good. There we go. Next chap asks, if you wanted Marvel to do a Wednesday comics of their own, what characters and creative team would you want and why? Which oh, I think wow. is a great That's yeah. a huge I question. It'd have to be a collection like DC does of some people who you want to see them do a weekly thing. I think they did an amazing job of like getting some great names together and be like, oh, I'm definitely going to pick this up. Yeah. This is a little bit of a cheat, but I would love to see an ecstatics strip. Uh, with, I mean, as Mike already is doing, that's yeah, that is easy. Um, I want to see, what's nice about it is out of continuity, I'd like to see uh, some new Warriors, some old new Warriors action, um, done by uh, Fabian, and uh, I forget the artist's name, the, the classic stuff. Yeah, uh, what about uh, Kazara? Kazara would be nice. Yeah. Uh, Savage Land? No. I mean, commanding, which you can All right. <laughs> I don't do anything commanding. beyond what I see. Yeah, <laughs> right. I would like a uh, Ben Graham and Logan team up. I would, yeah, I would like a Thing versus Hulk. Uh, runner. Oh, that would be great. That would be awesome. Who would you want to see uh, draw that? Uh, maybe oh, uh, someone, uh, someone <laughs> uh, friendly. Right now. What are you doing? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. That's, That's totally no, cool. Live. Uh, we're going to move on. <laughs> anyway, uh, C Striker asks if you could only read one current ongoing comic title, what would it be? Uh, I'd just say Lock and Key. Wow. That's a really good answer. Yeah. Um, Here's the thing, it doesn't come out very often. It doesn't come out that very often, but I love it, and I love every issue, and I've had to lim limit it to lock and key. I absolutely I'm going to beat Pete to the punch by saying scalped. All right, I'm going to say Alex brought up in a past show uh, the, how amazing Gravel is, and I yeah. would have to say that it is really constantly phenomenal, so I might have to say that. Cool. So you are. So he's there. You go. Uh, <laughs> Brian Hegarty asks, "Have you noticed the recent rise in comics popularity? It's not crazy like the '90s, but they're pretty popular again." Yeah. Uh, how about that? I don't. I, I don't think. Mm. I mean, sales don't reflect that, but I feel like they're more visible in the pop culture. Anyway. Right. Like. It, they're, they're, a all the more of a, they're a little bit more of a buzzword, I yeah. think, and a little bit more, it's acceptable to read yeah. comics, which I know sounds like a little bit of a slam, but I think they were in their own ghetto for a while. <laughs> in their own ghetto. Yeah. Well, uh, and also the, the, the big move of graphic, original graphic novels and that, where that's as much of a presence as superhero comics. Yeah. Uh, this is actually related. Andrew Nichol asks, where do you see digital comics headed? Are they the future of comics? Do we see high circulation numbers of decades past? Uh, there's a bunch of questions. I think actually the last one starting there, no, I don't think we're ever going to see the high circulation numbers of past. Of oh, like the 90s? Yeah, I, I don't think so. The only thing actually that might help it is the Disney Marvel deal in a certain way. Oh, here we go. No, seriously real, though. Real like getting Marvel comics into Disney stores and at parks and whatnot, 
might just by its very nature sell more copies of the books. Right. Well, but I mean, it, digitally, I, I think that yeah. opens it up because it, they'll be cheaper. They have to be cheaper. There's no paper. There's no publishing. Um, that will the price coming down will open it up to more. I, I have to say, I'm kind of a curmudgeon in this, where I feel like the fun of comics is having it in your hand. So I hope it doesn't all go digital because I like having comics. Cool. Yeah, he doesn't have a computer either. <laughs> yeah. What are you gonna do? No, oh, oh. oh, sir, you're standing right in front of our camera. Thank you. Sorry. Oh, that's the joys of filming. Uh, Bojack asks, uh, what do you think will happen to Dick Grayson and Bruce Wayne when Bruce returns? To Batman? No, fight to the death. Dick Grayson murders Bruce Wayne. Ooh, nice. Good I answer. Say, I was oh, going to say... That's the only answer. Yeah. What were you going to say? Well, I was going to say that when uh, you know Bruce comes back, it's going to be revealed that he's... He's been in a time loop this whole time. He's been completely out of his gourd, and he won't be able to put the mask back on. Really? Yeah. Huh? That's very Captain America. Uh, there you go. Me. Crackshot asks, uh, what hero would you most like to see become a villain and vice versa? Ooh. Uh, can I just do another easy answer? Yeah, sure. Sentry. Right. I'd like to see Sentry be a villain because I feel like they don't He's really so know what to... already. Though. Well, he is, and they yeah. don't yeah. really know what to do with him as a hero. If you make him a villain, at least there would be an opportunity for writers to let people beat him. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because as a hero, he can never lose, but also there's no drama there. Because see, he literally can never lose. To get on the century, I like the way he shows up in, in comics and everyone's like, oh, great. We're going to lose now. And then he, like, falls over uh, <laughs> or something. Because You're like, oh, that, that was well, way who would you say? Who would you like I to would see say, be a villain? I would like to see Mickey Mouse be a villain. I think that would be very enjoyable. Wow. Wow, typical. I, I, yeah, I really liked when Reed Richards was sort of a villain for a while during the Civil War. I would like to see that portion further. I what about uh, Sue Storm? I'd love to see her skimpy costume come back. Yeah. But I don't remember what she was called, but she was dark and visible. Oh, yeah. she was like, just, oh, she was so I would like to see that John Byrne run. Mm. Dr. Doom. Be evil? Be evil, that would be great. Yeah. <laughs> David J. Cutler asks, what's a comic book? We don't know. Oh, nice. Uh, it's, and, uh, it's a spider Woman motion comic. Amazing adventure within pages. <laughs> within Pete LePages. Cool. And last but not least, there's another question from Brian Hegarty. He asks, also it's pretty obvious to say something about Disney buying Marvel, so what would be the best Disney-Marvel team-up? Never. <laughs> don't do it. Uh, no, there's a Huey, Dewey, and Louie uh, story in there somewhere. Um, maybe they join the staff of the Daily Bugle. Yeah, what about, uh, what about DuckTales Spider-Man? They can go on adventures together. Oh, man. Uh, it's Spider-Ham. They might solve a mystery or rewrite history. They could do anything like that. Yeah. Woo-woo, I'd look forward to that. <laughs> I would like to see a Scrooge-Wolverine team up. You just want to see him murder. <laughs> you just want to see Wolverine jump into a buddy yeah. bed and... Be like, ah, yeah, oh, my claws. But there's no crossover there. Like, what character could ever turn up in a Marvel comic and be like, oh, that makes sense? <laughs> uh, Darkwing Duck. Nah, yeah, even that is like, Duck. Gizmo Duck, definitely. Yes. Blather and Blather and Skype. Absolutely. Gizmo Blather Duck. And and Gizmo Duck, Iron Man. Yeah. <laughs> perfect. 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 I did it. You bite me off. Guys, if you have a question, you can write us at comicbookclublive at gmail.com, popcultureshock.com slash cbclub, twitter.com slash comicbooklive, iTunes, Comic Book Club Live. Thank you to Midtown Comics for letting us shoot here this week. Yeah. And Pete. New York City, Tuesday nights, 8 o'clock. We'd love to see it at our live show at the People's in Brock Theater. If you're ever in New York City, if you could come down and just stand like right here <laughs> and right here and just really just yeah, be a wall. Uh, uh, oh, did you just wander off? Yeah, I'm just going to... Check some stuff. No. Just check Start some stuff. Commentary? <laughs> oh, no, no, it's fine. We were just joking. Oh,